Pictures Nashville 9 has officially been released. For nearly 15 years, Historic Nashville has published its annual list of the city's most endangered historic properties. News 2's Miranda Whittington has more on this year's list, which focuses on properties tied to Nashville's civil rights movement. Z. Alexander Luby. I think you could make an argument he was one of the most important Tennesseans of the 20th century. And Nashville go hand in hand. There's simply not a civil rights case in the state that he wasn't either directly or indirectly involved with. So when it was time to pick a theme for this year's Nashville 9 list, Betsy Phillips and her board members had a plan. So this year, it's all civil rights related. Since 2009, Historic Nashville, Inc. has published its annual list of the most historic and endangered properties in the city of Nashville. <laughs> to celebrate the upcoming 60th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, this year's list highlights homes and buildings of those tied to this historic movement. It's so crucial. We had so many important people who came to Nashville to figure out how to do sit-ins, how to do, you know, nonviolent resistance. This year's list not only has a special theme, but technically 10 properties, two of which were former Nashville 9 properties, including Z. Alexander Luby's home. That house is a monument to the struggles that people went through, that he went through, and how he survived them. We were wielded the building, a permanent office by James Wesley Frierson, in his, at his death in 1965. That building David Connor speaks of is also on this year's list. Where it's been the home to the Nashville NAACP chapter branch for nearly 60 years. Having the, this list to come out every year, it brings a real reality to the issues of um, maintaining our community and uh, keeping up, up keeping our, our history. While this list is all about preserving important places in Nashville's history. Phillips hopes it will also inspire the city to find a way to share its rich past while continuing to move into a new future. How do we know our history once the things that remind us of it are gone? In Nashville, Miranda Whittington, News 2.